Did you ever see, um, uh, there was this, uh, thing about, it was a documentary about this magician dude. Mm -hmm. Who he'd give a million dollars to any magician <gasps> who did a magic trick that he didn't know how it worked. Oh. That's Penn and Teller, right? <laughs> um, no. I'm just I kidding. Don't... I'm just kidding. It's, you're not talking about them. <laughs> no, I think, um... I'm trying to think if they were involved somehow. But it, it's not. Oh, yeah. It wasn't them. It was this other guy, I believe. And okay. he was like, <laughs> he was um, what's what's the way to describe him? He was like kind of a Debbie Downer. Oh, <laughs> back in the Debbie day, Downer. like people would be like, oh, there are people out there who are psychic, and then like he would be like, yeah, they're not psychic. They just did this magic trick and they fooled you. <laughs> are you talking about Randy, the amazing Randy? Maybe. That, Maybe. He, was, he had a TV show. He would invite people. Anybody who could demonstrate supernatural powers yeah. would win like a million dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, all you, you, just, you both agree on the test. It was totally fair. Like, you both agree on the test beforehand, and then you do the demonstration, and that's it. You'll win a million dollars. <laughs> all right. And, I mean, you'll be broadcast on TV super good uh publicity but no not a single person ever uh succeeded i watched there was like a documentary about him oh, it yeah. was like yeah i watched the whole documentary about him and it was like really sad because like he was all like oh they, they were um kind of i don't know it was weird because they were making fun of his relationship okay it's like, <laughs> and okay uh, I don't know if he was married to this guy, but like, he had a boyfriend or whatever who was an oh, artist, yeah. and uh, it might be a husband. I really don't know, but like, he would he'd sit home and paint, uh, you know, murals on the walls and stuff like that, and you know they were happy, and then like, it was just like. <laughs> They cut to him going, anyone could be fooled. And then it was all like, this guy's wanted for 12 murders. Or something. <laughs> what? It was like so sad. It was like so sad. I was like, whoa. What? <laughs> it's like that is uncalled for. <laughs> wow, man. I don't know. Someone, uh, I don't know. He He made someone mad. That wow. whoever made that documentary really wants to believe in supernatural because <laughs> oh they were really trying to make him look bad or whatever. But eh, you know, it is true. Everyone can be fooled. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the moral of the story is everyone can be fooled. <sighs> I, uh, yeah, I think that stuff is fascinating. What is this? But supernatural oh, stuff or like well, magic? Well, no, trying to, trying to, uh... You're shitting on people's relationships. No. <laughs> <laughs> trying to, uh, demonstrate, demonstrate that it works. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was really cool. Like watching the bending of the spoons and stuff like that. Whoa. Well, see the reason why they couldn't print any cards of a cadaver or something. <gasps> oh, he's coming for me. What? Oh, Lord, he's coming. Well, I heard that like, there was this magician that, like, when Pokemon came out, he took yes. a. Oh, I know who you mean. Yes. No, 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 that wasn't uh, this guy. <laughs> Spoon bending guy. They're like, I did that. That's my thing. And so they couldn't print any Pokemon cards of <laughs> that Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> weird. Uh, people have their legacies, I guess. They want to protect <laughs> their legacies. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, right to the face again. Why? <laughs> Whew. Do, you, do you believe in like legacies and stuff? Uh, do 
I believe in legacies. Well, how do you define a legacy? I mean, I don't know. It's like, I, I remember um, I was talking to an ex one time, and mm -hmm. they were talking about the Beatles. And he was just like, well, if the Beatles hadn't done it, somebody else would have. <laughs> if the Beatles hadn't done it, then somebody else would have. To kind of just like say that their legacy was crap and that, you know. Oh, I see what you mean. They weren't that big of a deal. It's a way to say someone is not that special. Yeah, I don't know. Like, do you believe that like everything, like that the special thing that someone did, like no one would have discovered that if given the time? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. No. Oh, we got it. Okay. No, I don't think so. I think uh, something else would have become popular, but uh, no, I mean, not, uh, I think people are unique. What they come up with is unique. Right. But if you think about it, like how many, like, will there become a time where like, there's no more new things to discover? Or like to do. I was, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about how I asked someone when I was much younger, like, "There's only so oh, many musical you notes." Did it first. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> this is my legacy, Sam. Okay. Oh. Ouch. Whoa. I am dying so bad. You got 25 health. Yeah. Where Where can you get health? I don't know. <laughs> Not here. Oh no. This is where I get death. They're double shooting you. They are. They're not just one time. They're two timing. Two <laughs> time. <laughs> Where'd he go? You freaking me out. <laughs> YOLO! Oh. oh. <laughs> that was kind of amazing though. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? Oh, I gotta go that way. This is good. You know, yeah. I was thinking about that with like sports too. Like, How? you know, um, like Michael Phelps has a bunch of like records of swimming or something, you know? Like, will, will there become a point where like there's no way any human is ever going to make any records ever? <laughs> Because they'll never be Michael Phelps. Well, no, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, the peak of that event has been done already. Huh. <laughs> oh. I was thinking, so my question many years ago was in regards to music, like you mentioned earlier. Okay. Like, there's only so many musical notes. Mm -hmm. are, like, are we just going to run out of new music? Yes. And... I don't know, the, the woman who was babysitting us said, like, I don't think so. There's just too many new and creative ways people can come up with. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay. To create new music. Right. Oh, my God. And you know, it's funny. Like, I still can't truly grasp how there can be that many options for music. But, I mean, it's, it's true so far. There's still more and more new music coming out. Right, right. I think that, you know, there will be a bunch of, like, forgettable <laughs> music that all kind of sounds the same, but then there will be I've, one or two that's original and unique. I don't I've know. I've some of that music. I've written Honest some of that forgettable music. <laughs> no. <laughs> what, no. That's it? It's just a nook. Uh-oh. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, I think, like, with movies, like, right now, you know, like, there's a lot of reboots and remakes and stuff. There but it's, like, are. it's it's ridiculous because it's, like, most of the time, they could just name it something else. <laughs> you know? Like, I was t I was telling my mom because I had I had a conversation with a guy I was dating, like, a while back. Where we were talking about um, James Bond at the time, and it was like James Bond was going to be a black woman, 
or something. What's oh, the what's the why is it like? Know. I don't even know if the movies come out yet or I really don't know if any, like it was so long ago but like we were talking about it and you know everyone's freaking out about it you know like oh no James Bond's a black woman and I was kind of sitting there like but like can't we just have a different like why does it have to be called James Bond like couldn't we just name it like the girl's name and she works for the same company James Bond works for <laughs> Yo, that's, that's a really yeah. good point like, couldn't she just be another spy? Like, why does every movie, like, need that name brand? You know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean. Because, I mean, people wouldn't get so up in arms if it was just named something else, I think. <laughs> mm. I don't know. I don't know. This is getting into, you know, uh, I guess cancel territory. They're going to cancel me. <laughs> well, this is... <laughs> I guess this is why we're not uh, making you're not, we're not making million dollar movies. <laughs> we don't know these things. Right, that's true. I don't know. I mean, it's you know, I just think that you know there can be a spy movie without it <laughs> having James Bond name on it, and I think that there could be a movie about dinosaurs without it being called Jurassic Park. And there, you know what I mean? Oh, it gets even worse. Uh, the big complaint, uh, I watched some reviews of the latest Jurassic Park movie, Jurassic World uh, Dominion or whatever, and mm -hmm. according, to the, uh, according to the reviewer, he's so angry because there's hardly any dinosaurs in it. Like, dinosaurs aren't even the main related to the main plot. Oh, that's not. <laughs> it's so <laughs> random. That's not it. <laughs> I mean, that was the whole drawing point of Jurassic Park in the day. People wanted to see the big puppets <laughs> go to <laughs> town or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, see dinosaurs. Yeah. Real life dinosaurs. Yeah. Right, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, like, did the other Jurassic Park have to be a Jurassic Park? Like, the one where, like, um, Chris Pratt had, like, the three velociraptors that he raised or something. Yeah, Jurassic World. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Like, that one, like, did it have to be a Jurassic Park? Like, could it have just been named Dinosaur Land or something? <laughs> Like, did it have to be Jurassic Park? Because what ends up happening? Well, then there's a sequel, and the sequel has to have the original actors from the 90s to, you know, oh, yeah. super up the nostalgia. And I, it's probably just stupid money grabbing, you know? Get the, you know, older people's nostalgia up. Like, when they did Spider-Man, they brought every single Spider-Man. That was pretty cool. <laughs> But you know what I mean? I know what it's you mean. Just, it's just banking on older people going for the nostalgia. You know? It works. Yeah. It works, <laughs> it, it does. I mean, well, they also made a good movie, though. I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I greatly enjoyed I watch it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost. I went the wrong <laughs> way. Oh, wait, wait. What's that? <laughs> oh. Pew, pew. I just, uh, I just think that, like, you know, people wouldn't be so angry at changes in their movies if if it didn't have that stupid name. I think you make a good point. It's a, it's a double-edged sword, though, right? If, uh, like, many people go to see it because of the name. But you're right. It also can cause uh, grumblings or controversy or whatever. Right? Yeah. Hmm. Like, if, if, that, if it, that show was called Dinosaur Land where Chris Pratt had three velociraptors, <laughs> like, I'd probably be like, yeah, it was okay. I probably would have said, like, yeah, it's no Jurassic Park, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know the movie Cool World? I heard of it when I was younger. I didn't watch it, was, it though. No. It, yeah, it was, it was like a grown-up... Uh, or not grown-up. It was a very... S it was like Roger Rabbit, where there's right. humans and toons. But it was... Oh, well, Sorry. But it's a lot more... Uh, I mean, I didn't see it. Had a lot more sexiness, sexy stuff to it. Even more than Jessica Rabbit. Uh, 
but uh yeah imagine if uh that was just roger rabbit too exactly and nowadays that's exactly what it would have been <sighs> They would have called it Roger Rabbit, you know, two, and then everyone would have been mad that Jessica <laughs> Rabbit was blonde. <laughs> you know, like seriously, it's just like just uh, make new stuff, people. <laughs> Stop banking on the same names. I'm sick of it. I want to see something <laughs> original. Oh my goodness. And original doesn't mean you know take something that people have an expectation for and then it's like oh well we're gonna make a sonic movie but we're gonna put in a, a not robotic it's you know <laughs> like <laughs> some and then everyone's raging and it's just like you could have just named this something else <laughs> you could have just done a different mascot made it a different thing and everyone would have been happy they would have <laughs> been like oh it reminded me of sonic <laughs> They should. Have, they could have done. Uh, oh shoot! Oh gosh! Uh oh! This don't look good. <laughs> they could have done. Uh, oh shoot! I'm sorry. Uh, awesome possum. They could have done awesome possum. There you go. Something else, you know, like. <sighs> oh, I'm freaking I out. feel like back in the day that that was a thing that I think they need more of, like Alundra or whatever. What? <laughs> Alundra, remember? It was um for PlayStation and it was like Legend of Zelda. Alundra? No, I don't know that one. You we looked it up. You don't oh, remember? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I would I'd recognize the screenshot probably. But it was um it was like, what time in the morning was it? Yeah. It was play, that was Sony's answer to Zelda, huh? Right, you know? Like and it had its own charm, you know. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't Zelda, so no one could get angry. Oh. If, like, if we called the Zelda CDI stuff something else, <laughs> gee, no one would be mad about it. <laughs> or you know, maybe the fact that they are Zelda is what makes them so great. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's an interesting question. So if. Uh, <laughs> Hold on. If uh, if Miyamoto made a Zelda type game that is very similar to Zelda, but it was not Zelda, it did not have Zelda, it didn't have Link, would it still be as hmm. popular? Would it still be as popular? I don't know. Do you think so? <sighs> I don't know. I think. Yes. <laughs> oh, this fish is I mean, bugging me. Oh, what was that? Was that a was that a Sonic? I almost think that I saw like I think it was a Sonic where it was like um they were showing off this tech demo and it looked like Shadow of the Colossus. It was Sonic. Whoa. Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, recently. Super yeah. recently. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like. Oh. Did this have to be Sonic? <laughs> I wonder if they're still working on that. There was a really big backlash. Oh like, yeah, I thought it was kind of cool, <laughs> but then the more I read about it, oh, it just got dumber and dumber. Well, I mean, you know, like just take the Sonic part out, <laughs> like just put a different character model in there and <laughs> call it something else, and people would probably like it. But when you call it Sonic, and then you change something major about it, you know, people are like, "What is this? It's not Sonic." Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? It was like, and they used this weird wording. So this is an open world Sonic game? Well, mm, no. <laughs> but there will be, I can't remember how they worded it. It just sounded, the more they talked about it, the worse it sounded. <laughs> I don't know. I saw it and I was just like, this is... I mean, the whole thing the whole thing with Sonic was just like, you know, the stages were quite linear. <laughs> like yeah, you, oh, felt, I mean, what? They, they were they were expertly crafted. Right. It was like it was kind of like you were on an amusement park ride. You were like on a roller coaster, and you got to go up, down, and around, and around, and and sometimes it slowed down. You got to explore around, but sometimes it was just you know it was like an amusement park ride or whatever. 
And a 3D Sonic where there's not like... Ooh. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, it's a boss. Oh, no. Oh, that's a wall. Oh, no, the wall's going away. Oh, no. So here's the... Oh, no wall. Okay, not... so I guess the walls just come and go as they please. Yeah. No. Wow, this is a good battle. <laughs> what I don't understand is... I had a really hard time figuring out how to hurt this guy. Are you hurting him? Are you getting him? I think so. <laughs> Are you winning, son? <laughs> <laughs> he's a grumbling. Oh, okay. That That's good then. I mean, I he's just it's... decided to not shoot us anymore, so that's good. He's, he's all out. <laughs> he's like, I'm, <laughs> yeah. well, I, try, I tried. <laughs> Conflict resolved. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is he dead? No. <laughs> He's still grumbling. <laughs> I ran out of missiles. Oh, oh, no. oh he's what have I done? He's shooting. He's shooting. He's, sh he's getting a little shooty. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little shooty. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> what makes him... I feel like both of us just leaned forward to try to see better. <laughs> oh! Oh. I thought he was blowing up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the most confusing part of the game to me. Cause, so the first time I met him, like, this happened. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. But the second time I beat him, he went down, like, super fast. Oh, okay, he's dead. Oh, he's blown up. He's definitely blown up now. Oh, such a cool idea. <laughs> Giant plant boss. Oh, wow. All right, what well, do I get? Yeah, well, yeah, give us something. <laughs> I bet I know what it is. <laughs> We're here to take stuff. Oh, hey! That's it. We can go anywhere in the game now. Oh, it's the master I think I have... key. <laughs> it's the last key. <laughs> Goofball. <laughs> I went the wrong way. There we go. Oh, yes. Give me those sweet, sweet missiles. Hey. Really yeah, where's the health? health. <laughs> yeah. Maybe go in the relaxing water. Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh, I'll okay. In the, in, the, in the sunlight. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> like a breathe area or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Whoa. Gosh. Like, this feels kind of final. Yeah, I think this is it. I've got all the Whoa. items. Whoa. I don't have too many missiles. Oh, I don't think I need many missiles. I think I'll be okay. All right, so if I zoom out... Oops. <laughs> if I zoom out, is there any place I haven't been? Just that... Okay, way up on north. So there's a few... Uh, I mean, there's a few rooms I haven't been in, but I don't think they matter. All right, I guess I'll head north. Let's go! Let's go! How do I get there? <laughs> All right, I'm going to oh. head... Uh, not that way. Uh, I don't know, but you can go anywhere. You told me That's, this. I did. <laughs> That's what I promised. <laughs> we killed everything, right? So we're just going to be cruising on through. Yes. Right? Yeah. Look at us go. What's that horrible sound? Uh, my, my chair squeaking, maybe. <laughs> oh. I was freaking out a little for a moment there. <laughs> what do you think about people who say that? Like gamers, when they're like, let's go. <laughs> they would say like, let's go when they get something or like. Oh, that's like, cute. When they're excited about something. Oh, you think it's good? Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> excited Sam is best, is a, a fun Sam. Oh, here we go. What's in here? I, I, oh, I and Soidberg. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it was a water burial. <laughs> <laughs> burial at sea. <laughs> oh, it's this place. Okay, it just loops around. Yeah, I definitely made a cafe like this in Animal Cross. Where I had like a tree in the center and then a little place for people to sit and stuff. Aww. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, it was really nice. <laughs> Animal Crossing. 
You said Animal Crossing? When was the last time you played Animal Crossing? I still play it every day. Well, see, <laughs> you're on the old stuff. The old stuff? <laughs> yeah, I'm playing Pocket Camp. Oh, the new hot stuff. <laughs> the new hotness. I'm playing Pocket Camp on my you phone. <laughs> Would you recommend it? Yes. Yes, definitely. I say it makes Animal Crossing better in every way. And you can yeah. keep it in your pocket. Yeah, and it's in my phone. But I'm telling you what? right now, <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. like, no lie. So, okay, first off, when you... When you take and you pluck your fruits from your trees, right? Pluck your fruits. If you want more fruits, how long you gotta wait? A day. Uh, no, 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 like three days. Three or four days? Three Long hours. Days. Three hours in pocket camp. You wait three hours, they're Whoa. back. Whoa. That's faster. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, like, uh, you can, f I mean, you know, you can fish. And it's way easier. The fish don't ignore your your line at all. They come right to it. And you just tap the screen. You just tap the screen when you're gonna get the fish. <laughs> when you when you're when you get bugs, <laughs> like, you just tap on the bug, and then your character like instantly sneaks towards them. Uh, and then you just tap again and you get them. I see. It's like everything is easier. There's more like stuff going on because, you know, more stuff can be downloaded anytime. So like there's a fishing tournament right now. There's cheesy stuff. It's all about cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying it's all the all the Animal Crossing, but none of the calories. None of the waiting for your trees or whatever. <laughs> it's easier to fish. Oh, we've been waiting for this. More well, life. Well, well worth coming here. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess so, yeah. What? This door still won't open. Come we on. got the master key, though. Yeah. I really want a shortcut. Oh, come on. There's no switch or anything. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. You're getting angry. <laughs> I'm getting angry. That's not pew, good. Pew, 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 pew. Do you feel I'll better? <laughs> <laughs> had to eject that out of my system. <laughs> That's so bizarre. How bizarre. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got to run back out of here. <laughs> You're not going to comment on that song? I don't know that song. You've never heard that song? Sam, seriously. Oh, my goodness. I don't know songs. Oh Wait, my goodness, that one's really old. <laughs> it's just like uh, my humps or whatever. <laughs> <sighs> my lovely lady lumps in the back and in the front. <laughs> I can't believe that's a real. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I regret saying that. <laughs> I'm surprised it's a real song. <laughs> I but, remember uh, the first time yeah. I heard it, I was like, no way. <laughs> I saw this I saw this uh thing lately, it was like a meme, and it was showing that song and it was showing the writing credits and it was like a man's name and they were like, I I knew no woman wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> no woman would talk about her lovely lady lumps in the back <laughs> and in the front. <laughs> Oops. Men writing women. Lovely lady That's lumps. That's right. <laughs> oh she had God. lovely lady lumps in the back and in the front. <laughs> Was it, is, there an, uh, is there an equivalent song for men or about men? Um, I'm too sexy for my shirt. <laughs> too sexy That's for right, my a, shirt. So it's a sexy. man singing that, isn't it? It hurts. <laughs> Yeah, he's a model. That's pretty sexy. You know what he means. I do. <laughs> and I do my little turn on the cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah! What do you think about lip syncing? 
back then they had the Millie Vanilli problem, right? Oh. Did you I, hear about that? I did hear about that. I didn't know the band, okay. but I certainly heard about that. It was yeah. a hot topic. Yeah. Because, they, you know, I told my mom, I think that the, the only difference between now and then is that back then people had shame, and they don't now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Because they, Millie Vanilli, they gave back their Grammy after it was shown that they were lip syncing. But like nowadays, people just lip sync, get caught, and then just be like, so what? I got caught. Like, for example, in like 2005 or somewhere around there, Ashley Simpson got caught lip syncing oh, yeah. on Saturday Night Live. And she just went, oh, my voice was weak that day. And she continued to sing. She didn't yeah, like, yeah. I don't deserve to be a singer anymore. She was just like, oh, yeah, my voice felt bad that day. And, you know, buy my album. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, it reminds sure. me, what is it? Uh, I think it, it reminds me of, uh, well, tangentially related, how <sighs> movies like animated movies insist on you know, they, they ever since uh, Disney's Aladdin and, you know, Robin Williams doing the genie, ever since then, they insist on getting big, famous actors to do these voices. Right. And uh, on top of that, they insist on them doing their own singing, even when they're really, really, really <laughs> not singers. And, like, Disney's Aladdin is a great example. Uh -huh. Aladdin, the, I think, I don't think Aladdin's singing voice was the same actor. Doubtful, and, yeah. And like uh, in Mulan, the singing actor is different from the regular actor. Like it's not a big deal. It's still a great movie. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. It's I don't know. Things today are so weird. <laughs> I don't right. get it.